Hey everybody. Uh, during this video, I'm going to show you how to do the iReady lesson titled Solve Percent Problems Part 2. Uh, before we get started, you want to make sure that you have a whiteboard nearby or a notebook paper. Um, again, there's no prize for doing everything in your head or to only use the calculator. We want to make sure we know what to write down and how to solve each problem. So that's why you're watching this video. Next, I also want you to have your headphones plugged in during this iReady lesson and in all iReady lessons because it's a great way to get the information in a couple of different ways. So we get to hear it read to us, we get to read it ourselves, and when new information is given to us, uh, it's great to hear it and see it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna show you how to do the first couple of problems. You'll stop the video, and then you'll go on and finish the assignment and the quiz yourself. Rainy and her friends are raking leaves as part of a school service project. The regular price of the supplies they need is $60, but the store manager is giving them a 20% discount. Rainy wants to know the sale price of the supply. Which equation shows the relationship between the regular price, the sale price, and the discount? All right, so you'll notice here that each of these is linked, so it gives us a definition for what each of these are. So the regular price is the cost of the item uh, when it's not on sale and when it's not discounted. The sale price is the reduced or the lowered cost of the item after a discount. And the discount is the amount that's taken away from the regular price to give you the sale price. And what we're supposed to do right now is decide which of these uh, equations goes along and models the situation here. So let's just go one by one. The first one says sale price plus discount equals regular price. Uh, so that might make sense. So that sale price is the new price. If you add on the discount, which is how much got taken away, you put those together, we should have the regular price. So that's a possibility. Uh, next we have the sale price. Uh, if we take away the discount, we're gonna get to the regular price. Uh, that's not true because the sale price is what you get after you take the discount away from the regular price. Um, here, the regular price plus the discount gives you the sale price. That's not true either uh, because a discount is going to be subtracted. So we're not going to add a discount on and then get a sale price. And then the last one, we have the regular price and the sale price being added together, and that's going to tell you how much was subtracted. And that doesn't make sense because if something was $10 and it's on sale for $8, if you add them together to get 18, it doesn't mean you have an $18 discount. So we're going to choose this first option here. Complete the statement. So here we have to choose which of these three represents the whole. So that would be the 100%. That would be your regular price. Um, and the sale price and the discount represent parts. So the discount and the sale price are parts of the regular price. Now let's use percents to describe this part whole relationship. Drag the given information into the table to represent the problem. The question mark stands for the unknown. So if you look at the table here, so this blue rectangle on the top, the rectangle uh, shows the reg regular price. Um, so we have a percentage and a dollar amount. And then underneath that, in the same sized rectangle, we have the sale price and the discount price. So together, the sale price and the discount price um, are worth the same or are the same number of dollars as the regular price. Some of these labels here are dollar amounts and then some of them are percentages. And we have to click and drag them into the diagram or into the boxes that you see up above. So it says that the regular price of the supplies that they need is $60. So I'm gonna take this $60 and I'm gonna drag it up here to the regular price and drop it over the dollar amount. 
uh, the 20%, that is, it says the 20% discount. So that's gonna go here for the discount. And what we are trying to find out is the sale price. So this question mark dollar sign is gonna go here with the sale price. What percent represents the regular price of the supplies? Enter the percent in the table. So this regular price, the word regular or the word original always connects back to the 100%. Good. What percent of the regular price is the sale price? Enter the percent in the table. All right. So now this part isn't obvious right away, but if everything together is the 100% and there's a 20% discount, that means you're saving your sale price. That means your sale price is 80% of the price because 80 plus 20 is the 100%. The sale price is 80% of the regular price. Which equation can be used to find the sale price S of the supplies? So what we're looking now to do now is we're looking to find the sale price. So if we think, think back to that, um, equation that we used in the last topic. We have the y equals k times x. So x, the 60, is the original price. The k is the percentage as a decimal. And then the s is the sale price. And this part could be confusing because there's two answers that look like they could be um, possibly correct. This top one, is saying that we take 20% and multiply by 60. What that's going to do is that's going to tell us how much the discount is. We're asked to find out what the sale price is. So the sale price is going to be the 80% times the $60. And so what you want to do is you want to choose the eight tenths or the 80% times the $60. Way to go. What is the sale price S of the supplies after the discount? Enter the amount in the table. So after the discount means that they've already subtracted the dollars from the original price. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna multiply this eight tenths times 60. And when you do that, you get $48. So in this box, you're going to type $48. The sale price plus the discount equals the regular price. The sale price is $48. That means the discount is $12. Mason is having new tires put on his wheelchair. The tires are regularly $56, but this weekend they are on sale for 25% off. Mason wants to know the sale price of the tires. Drag the given information into the table to represent the problem. All right, so up here, it says that the tires are regularly $56. And so a reminder that uh, the word regularly or regular or original is connected to the 100%. So this $56 is gonna go up here with the regular price because that's 100% of the price. Um, Mason wants to know what the sale price is. So the question mark is going to go here for the sale price. And the um, tires are on sale for 25% off. So that's your discount. So 25% goes here. What percent of the regular price is the sale price? So remember that everything together is 100%. That's the regular price. So if the discount is 25%, that means that you're paying for 75% of it. Which equation can be used to find the sale price S of the tires? And so right away, we wanna cross out these two division equations. 
So the equation is always going to have multiplication. And this first one is going to tell you how much was discounted. This second one here in the bottom right is going to tell you what the sale price is. So if you use this first one, it would tell you how much to subtract from 56 to get the sale price. In this case, because we're asked to find out which one will tell us the sale price directly, we're going to choose 75 hundredths times 56. What is the sale price S of the tires after the discount? And so now on our calculator, we're going to multiply 75 hundredths times 56 and get $42. Great work. The sale price is $42. That means the discount is $14. All right, so at this point, I've done enough. Uh, you're gonna use that as an example to complete the rest of the assignment, and then make sure that you also complete the quiz. When you're done, you should be working on anything that's missing or working